Good afternoon, I am Federica D'Ambrosio. Today we are going to review the account of Basil. Basil joined our funded trader program on uh, October the 16th and hit his first 10% target on the 3rd of December. Very well done. Uh, the first thing that we want to notice here is how Basil never went in negative territory and how his uh, equity line looks uh, uh, really nicely upward sloping. We can see yeah, a bit of up and down here, but that's, um, that belongs to the second account. So we will uh, analyze that better in the second review. So for now, let's have a look at the statistics. Um, we can see a daily, an average daily return of 0.14% a monthly return of 4.10% and a drawdown floating of just 3%, which is really good. I think it was because of some up, ups and downs we can see here by the, end of, um, by the end of November. So let's have a look at the advanced statistics. So we can see how Basil took 184 trades so with a profitability rate of 57%. So it was slightly more than half of his trades that were positive. But an average win of almost 26 pips and an average loss of almost 25 pips. So we can see on average uh, he was losing as much as he was gaining. Um, let's have a look at the best trade and the worst trade. So his best trade was on the 8th of December, he gained $335, while just one day earlier, on the 7th of December, he lost $439 on his account. In terms of pips, both best, best trades and worst trade were on the 28th of October. In fact, we can see how he lost 137 pips. Uh, sorry, he gained 137 pips, but he lost 134 pips. Um, hmm, that's interesting. Let's have a look at the summary to see on uh, which pair he focused the most, in case he did, or if he focused on the Forex market in, um, in general. So, we can see a few positions open here and then, but is outstanding how uh, the number of trades he took uh, on the pound dollar. In fact, we can see 80 positions opened on this pair and uh, he gained 519 pips on this one and uh, wow, 1486 uh, dollars. So we can see, uh, we can say that if we only traded the pound dollar, Maybe it was just this pair that, uh, well, of course, um, he traded also other pairs, but only with this, uh, only with only trading this pair, he was really, really close to hit his target only with one pair. But let's have a look also at the rest. In fact, we can see here from the negative point of view, from a negative side, on uh, 36 positions on the euro dollar. He lost uh, just 66 pips, but resulting in a loss of $889. And we can see some few winnings and losses uh, here and then, here and there, sorry. Okay, let's have a look at the history of the account. If we go back on the first page when it joined here on the 16th of October, he started slowly, slowly, 0 0.1, 0 0.05, so he didn't go full lot. Uh, and he kept the positions, uh, um, the size of his position quite low, at least in the beginning. Let's see if something changed uh, um, with time. We can see 0 0.1, and um, let's have a look. He kept his position quite, uh, um, quite steady, so 0 0.2. And here is uh, it started by towards the end before just before hitting his target to use full lot size on his positions. And this is here on the 4th of December when he hit his first 10% target with us. And now, of course, is uh, managing his uh, second account, is managing a three um, a thirty thousand dollar account. Um, Let's have a look at the average trade length. It is 7 hours and 15 minutes. 
From the duration scatter plot, we can see how the vast majority of exposition were held in fact for less than 12 hours, but then we have few others held for uh, longer, mainly between, uh, yeah, mainly for one day, and then just a few of them were held for more than one day. Three of them positive traits and only two were, um, were negative uh, positions. Okay, very well done, Basil. And um, also for you, we look forward to do the second review of your account.